In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and edit transitions and effects in the Shotcut Video Editor. We're on the cusp of 2025. In a few more days, it'll be a new year. So this is the latest version of the Shotcut Video Editor. So let's get started. I have a couple clips here that I'm going to drag into the timeline. One is of the ocean and another is another ocean clip of just me and a kayak. So firstly... To add a transition between these two clips and shortcut, it couldn't be easier. Just drag one clip into the other, and now you have a dissolve right here. And you can extend the length of it by clicking and dragging on it if you have enough media in this clip. See, I'm at the end of the clip, so I can't go that way. But I can go this way, though, and I can make a nice long dissolve, a nice long slow dissolve. So next, I'm going to show you how to edit the parameters of the, of the Dissolve and to change it to a different transition. But first, I just want to talk about my audio setup here. If you're serious about shooting videos for YouTube or really for anything, you need a good quality microphone to capture the sound in a high quality. And that's what this is here. It's a good quality microphone made by TZ. I have a link in the video description to it and the QR code. If you scan it, let me know because I want to know if the QR code works. I actually do live on a busy street and there's cars right outside my window going back and forth. And I don't think you can hear them because this does a good job of just picking up sound from the front instead of behind it, which is a big reason why I like it so much. And there's also a big dent on it right here because I actually dropped it on the ground once and it still works. So it's pretty durable. So not only do you want the microphone, but you also want a good audio recorder that you can plug the microphone into. This is a very old one that I've had for a long time. That's why it's extremely beat up. I have a newer version of this in the video description as well. So you'll want to click on those links and get yourself some good audio equipment. And I also have some links for a lighting kit and a green screen kit as well. So check out the video description um, to get some of those products that will help you to produce better videos and or scan the QR code. All right, back to the video. So to change the type of effect this is, you right clicked on it and select properties. And now you can pick from really any number of these. I can do a barn V up. You're going to get a, a preview here. So it's going to look like this. Very, um, very uh, odd looking effect. Um, you can change the softness of it. If I increase the softness all the way, then the edges of the effect are just soft. See that? It's, it's just kind of a, a blurry transition. If I decrease the softness all the way, then you get more of a hard line for the transition. See? So now when I want to get rid of this effect, I can just click on it and delete it, and that's gone. And if you added an effect right here between these two videos, then the audio is automatically going to crossfade. In fact, let's undo what I just did. And you can see right here, there's an audio crossfade automatically selected. So the audio is taken care of. Now, there's one more way to add a dissolve and, and a shot cut. You want to have two video tracks, so if you don't already, just right-click and, uh, one second, right-click tra track operations, add video. Take this one, drag it into the other one, and you're going to notice there's this little handle here. If you put your cursor in the upper left corner of the clip, click this and drag it, and that's going to fade this out just like that. See that? So that's the other way you can add a uh, transition and shortcut. So I'm going to undo this, or actually I'll just bring this back. I'll grab the little circle thing so you can see me do it, and I'll bring it back, and now it's no longer going to fade. It's just going to be a hard cut. So let's put this trip, this clip back here. There's one more way you can add um, transitions to the shortcut video editor, and that's what the website called VidEasy. With this website, you have a bunch of pre-made transitions. You can click this, for example. This is just a video clip that you can put over the cut point um, right here. Now, I have some downloaded already, so I'm going to go to my playlist, and I have this fire burning transition here. So it just turns into fire. You know, so we have all this black right here. Uh, we want to get rid of this. You know, the, It looks no good with just black over the clip. So click the clip to highlight it. Go to filters, 
click plus, and we're going to type the word chroma, chroma key simple. Near the key color, select the little eyedropper and just click the black area, and that's going to key the black right out. So when we play this, this is going to turn into fire, and it's just going to cut into the other clip. Now, you can change where this is positioned in order to make it cut at a more opportune section. You want to try and cover that edit point as much as possible. So I could even take this and drag it over here a bit and then put it here. Yeah, you see that? So it just kind of covers the edit point. And that's the other way you can do a transition and shortcut. And now for effects. What we want to do for effects is you want to click on the clip here and go to filters and click plus. And we can add any of these effects right here. Let's add 360 transform. If we change you know, this around, it's going to just really screw the clip up, I guess. Um, if you see these little hourglass icons, then, then this is key frameable. So you're going to want to click these to enable key framing if you so choose. And we're going to automatically switch to the keyframe uh, timeline. And here's the original timeline. Here's the keyframe timeline. And this is our first keyframe here. So if we move the position of the playhead to a different spot in the clip and change these settings, you can see it's automatically adding another keyframe. We can put it back here, for instance, and change them some more. And now if we play this clip, we're just going to get a wacky... Oh my God, what is that? <laughs> well, anyway, um, you can see there's multiple rows here. So let's lift this up. You know, the, these, these rows each correspond to each of these three parameters right here. So if I want to delete this keyframe, for instance, I can use these arrow buttons and move back and hit the trash can. And it's just going to delete it on this one here. If I want to delete on this one, click this trash can. And now it's. Uh, Where'd it go? Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Now we're selected. Now it's gone. And you can add a keyframe by clicking this here. You can even change it around manually. Instead of adjusting these sliders, you just adjust it right here. You can change its position in time. You know, all kinds of stuff you can do with the keyframe uh, window here. Again, you want to delete them, just go there, use these little arrow keys, and just click the delete button, and they'll be deleted. And, you know, that's really all there is to editing the effects in uh, Shotcut. Um, not all effects have that keyframe parameter. Let's see if we can find one that doesn't, in fact. Um, don't know. I think the vast bulk of them do. But if you don't see that little hourglass icon, then it's not keyframeable. But practically all of them are. Anyway, that's how you add transitions and effects. If you liked the video, please click the like button and subscribe and share the video. And I do implore you to click in the video description and look at some of those products I have. They will help improve your video quality. I have some lights right here right now on me. I got this great microphone here that really has improved my audio quality along with the audio recorder. Um, click the links in the video description or scan that QR code and um, buy some of those products. It will help me out and it will help you out as well. Well, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.